An iSCSI LUN is a useful tool to make an allotted amount of storage on your NAS available on a connecting device as if it were local to that device. The iSCSI protocol transfers data over a TCP IP connection. When you connect to the LUN over the iSCSI connection, the LUN will appear as a block-based storage on your client device. iSCSI connections are often used by servers and can also be utilized by PCs and Macs for additional storage via iSCSI initiators. And these can be found natively within Windows, or for Macs, you would need to download an iSCSI initiator. iSCSI LUNs are commonly used to provide storage for virtualization environments. They can also be a convenient way to partition storage from the NAS to be accessed by various workstations in perhaps an office environment or a home environment with multiple users. And it may be a bit simpler for users to access than say a network drive as the LUN will appear as if it were local. So let's begin creating our iSCSI LUN on the QNAP. Start by opening Storage and Snapshots. Within the Storage and Snapshots window, Select the Storage slash Snapshots tab and click the Create button to open the drop-down tab and select New Block-Based iSCSI LUN. If you have not yet enabled iSCSI service, a window will pop up prompting you to enable it. Just make sure that iSCSI service is enabled to continue. Similar to creating a standard volume, when you create an iSCSI LUN, you will select which storage pool to allocate the storage space from and whether you want the LUN to be a thickly provisioned LUN in which the space is pre-allocated at the creation of the LUN or a thinly provisioned LUN in which the storage space will only be occupied from the storage pool as data is written to the LUN. Make your selections and click Next. Now you will select the LUN's name and the capacity of the LUN. You'll be able to see the maximum amount of space you have available in your storage pool below the field into which you input the size of the LUN. Keep in mind that if you're creating a thinly provisioned LUN, it is possible to make a LUN larger than your available storage space in the storage pool. However, if you create a thinly provisioned LUN that's larger than your available storage pool space, You'll need to keep a closer eye on your available storage to make sure that you don't run out of space. And once you create the LUN, you won't be able to shrink its size. So with all that in mind, input the name of the LUN and the capacity for the LUN and click Next. The next page is where you will choose a target to map to the LUN. The target is what your iSCSI initiator will connect to. So to actually access that storage on the LUN, you will need a target mapped to it. If you choose to password protect access to your LUN, this will also be done on the target. If you don't have any targets created, a box labeled do not map it to a target for now will be automatically checked. If you on the other hand do have targets available to map, you can choose one to map to the LUN at this time. For the purposes of this tutorial though, I'll create a target after the LUN has been created, so I'll just click Next. On this final page of the setup, you'll see a summary of the LUN that you are about to create. Review the summary, and if everything is to your liking, click Finish. Now that I've created my LUN, I'll create a target to map to the LUN. To do this, Select iSCSI Storage in the tab on the left side of the Storage and Snapshots window and click the Create button to open the drop-down menu and select New iSCSI Target. Now click Next and then on this page you can give your iSCSI Target a name so it's easy to find. Additionally on this page you will decide whether or not to allow multiple iSCSI initiators to access this target at the same time. And it's important to keep in mind that if you do choose to allow multiple initiators to access the target at once, the initiators and file systems must be cluster aware or data corruption could occur. 
On the next page, you can give your iSCSI target a username and password if you want to password protect access to the line. To do so, just check the Use CHAP Authentication box and input the credentials. And then click Next. If you don't want to password protect the target, you can simply leave the box unchecked and continue. The final page is the summary. Review your selections and if everything is set how you want it, click Apply. After completing the target creation, the LUN creation wizard will automatically open, but since we've already created our LUN, I can just close that. Now I have both my iSCSI LUN and a target, but I don't have the target mapped to the LUN. So in the iSCSI storage section of storage and snapshots, select the iSCSI LUN, click the action drop down button, and select map. Now select the target that you would like to map the LUN to and click apply. Now that the target and LUN are mapped, you'll be able to access the storage on the LUN by connecting to the target. You can also activate and deactivate the target, enable and disable the LUN, and also view connections to the target. iSCSI LUNs can be used to provide storage that appears locally to multiple clients from a server. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos to better utilize your QNAP NAS.